Okay, in this video, we're gonna be doing Calc BC problem set number 26. The problems in a playlist are in the description below. Let's take a look. Number one, answer the questions about the differential equation shown above. Um, I said equation funny there, I think. Uh, what is the value of y when y is increasing most rapidly? So if we look at the form of this, we notice that this is a logistic differential equation. The key thing when dealing with logistic differential equations is that we really need this number here to be one. If that number is one, then we know all about this thing. In particular, we know that this number here is the limit or the carrying capacity. So 10 is the most you'll ever have. And a fact of the matter is at half of the carrying capacity, you will always get a point of inflection, which is when you are increasing most rapidly. So we can say for sure, y is increasing most rapidly when y is equal to five. And that's the answer to this question. There's really not much with logistic. You just have to like know what you're doing. Let's take a look at the next part. Evaluate the limit as x approaches infinity of y of x when y is equal to zero. Nope. When y of zero is 12 and when y of zero is one. So it doesn't matter what y of zero is. You will get the same carrying capacity every time. And it is this number here, as long as that one is a one, right? So we have to have one minus y over L basically. Um, so we know that 10 is going to be the limit. So I'm just going to write that up. So logistic is, I would say free points. I mean, you gotta know how to work with it, but once you do, like you, everything is just free. C, uh, let y equal f of x be the particular solution to the differential equation satisfying f of zero is one. Approximate f of one half using the tangent line uh, to y equals f of x at x equals zero. Just wanna make sure that everybody follows along on like how to sub in to an implicitly defined derivative, right? So. You're gonna have x's, you're gonna have y's, you have to sub in the ordered pair, so zero, one in this case. We're really only subbing in the y equals one because there are no x's. So we're gonna have six, we'll have uh, one minus one tenth, and then we have to clean this up. So that's six times nine tenths, and then that's 27 over five. Okay, so 27 over five is the slope. We're gonna write the tangent line, just point slope form like we always do. And then what we need to do is approximate f of one half we're gonna say f of one half is approximately, so you gotta have that approximately equal to sign, and then it'll just be one plus 27 over five times one half, because we're plugging in x equals one half. Simplify this, we get 37 over 10. Let's take a look at the next part. This might be a fast problem set. We wanna actually find the particular solution. So you are allowed to, and encouraged to, memorize the solution to the logistic differential equation, in fact, it, you're allowed to memorize it, so they'll probably never even ask you to do it on like the AP exam. In class, that's a different matter. You're definitely gonna have to solve it. So we need to know what L is, but L is 10. We've already used it multiple times. We have to figure out A, right? So the general form of the solution is L over one plus AE to the negative KT. Um, and we know what L is. A is going to be uh, L minus Y zero over Y zero. So L minus Y zero over Y zero, which in this case is 10 minus one, which is the given condition over one, so just nine. So we'll start writing this up. F of X is L, which is 10, over one plus A, which is nine, E to the negative, and then K is the coefficient of that leading Y. So the form of the differential equation is really important. It's gonna be K times Y quantity one minus Y over L. Um, memorize that. So in this case, it's six, so six and then X. That's our solution. We don't, you can get that solution by doing partial fractions, but you don't need to. Um, and so I'm not going to, obviously, but you could, that would be a place to do it. So, I mean, if, if you have extra time and you've been doing the problem sets and you're like, oh, what do I do with all this extra time? Make sure you have everything about logistic differential equation memorized. Let's take a look at the next problem. The arc length of the function uh, Y equals F of X from zero to one is given above. If f of zero is five and y is decreasing for all x, find f of x. Okay, so we just have to know what's going on with arc length, right? So arc length, integral from a to b, square root of one plus f prime squared dx. So there's not a lot going on with it. But from this and comparing, uh, we can see that this thing, 16x to the fourth, is f prime squared. So f prime squared is 16x to the fourth. Now we have to be kind of careful, right? Because we're squaring f prime. So from that information, we know that f prime could either be positive four x squared or it could be negative four x squared. We have to decide which of those it's gonna be. 
But if we go back to the given, uh, we know that we're between zero and one, which I don't actually think really matters in this case, but it could have mattered. Um, but decreasing for all x. So since we're decreasing for all x, we need the one that's going to give us negative values between 0 and 1. Um, and f prime equals negative 4x squared does that. So we now know f prime is negative 4x squared, which means that f of x is going to be reverse power rule. So plus 1 times the reciprocal, negative 4 thirds, x cubed plus c. We know that uh, f of 0 is 5, which tells us that... Um, since f of 0 is 5, we know that c is just going to equal 5, um, which means our overall answer, f of x, is going to be uh, negative 4 thirds x cubed plus 5. All right, that's the entire problem set. I know this one was very quick. I don't know, maybe I'm happy about that. Maybe you're happy about that. Anyway, I hope this was helpful, and good luck.